Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to cancel the observable. So when we are already subscribed to an observable. Okay, so that means we have already subscribed to an observable. So for some reasons, we don't want to get the data from that observable. So we are done with that uh, data and we want to cancel that observable. So now let's try to see how we can cancel an observable. But the observable will be still emitting the data, but we don't want to receive the data so we are done with the data so how we can cancel that observable let's try to see now here let's comment out these all the things so that we will be very easy for us now i am commenting out okay now what i will try to do is i will try to create a new observable sorry new component ng gc in the components slash cancelling observable cancelling observable so I have cre I am creating a new component. The component has been created. Now let's go into this one, cancelling observable. Now here in the app component.html, let's add this one. So I am commenting out this one, uh, this component, and here I will add app hyphen cancelling, sorry, cancelling hyphen observable. Okay. So I have added this one. So now let's try to see the output. Yeah. Fun Sorry, if I try to refresh this one, cancelling observable works. Yeah, we are able to see the component. Now, in this component, we'll try to create an observable and we'll try to cancel that observable. Now, in here in the ngon init, constant new observable. Okay, new, I'm creating an observable. So, in RxJS, we have a special function, not a special function, we have a method that is interval. So, what this what this interval method will do is so this interval method will generate the numbers starting from 0 to so ending so 0 it will go on releasing the it will go on emitting the data so 0 1 2 3 like that it will go on emitting the data and here we, we can give the arguments or something like parameter the number of seconds so how many seconds for how many seconds i need to emit the data so for example 0 1 means how many seconds how many how many time period I need to send emit the data so here I am taking it as second so for every second just emit the data so emit the data means nothing but it will generate the value from 0 1 2 3 like that it will incrementing value it will try go on emitting an observable okay this shorthand form to emit the data now here we have created an observable interval this so what this method will do is it is from rxjs imported from rxjs it will gen it will generate the values from starting from 0 1 2 3 like that for every second so if you give 2 here it will generate for every 2 seconds now i will subscribe to this one so now if i write, if i try to subscribe to this one now what i can do new observable okay dot subscribe okay so here you will be getting the data the data is nothing but the number now here if i try to console.log data so i will try to do console.log data now if you if you try to see the output okay so i am refreshing this one so here you are able to see before function these all things right okay fine let's try go here and let's comment out this one all so that it will be plain okay so this is the previous videos one okay now here if you try to see 0 1 2 3 4 so like this it is generating for every second if you want to check that time means so we can also write the time here here i can write something like new date dot to local a oh, what happened new date new date dot to local a time string okay so i am using this one so here i can use something like so i can give the gap yeah now let's try to see the output how it will be so it is refreshing and here 49 50 51 52 so for every second it is emitting the data fine it's fine so now i will keep a button here okay so i will add a button such that here i will be adding a button button cancel timer okay so i want to cancel this timer now upon clicking on this one i need to execute the met method so cancel timer okay so here i will using you i will use this method here in this one cancel timer okay so now in this cancel timer just console.log so cancel the observable so we need to cancel the observable so i am canceling the observable now here if i try to see 
see now it is going on exiting so when i click on this button i need to cancel the observable okay so now but still the observable is going on emptying the data but it should stop emptying the data so how can i do here so we have a method called as unsubscribe so now you have subscribed to this observable so when we click on this button we want to unsubscribe so we need to unsubscribe so how we can unsubscribe so when you subscribe to this one so it will the return value for this one is a subscription so you are able to see the subscription so now we need to store it in one variable so here i can write something like timer or sorry timer subscription i will write something like timer subscription it is of type subscription okay so that's it so now it is of time to subscription so now let's keep it this one so now what i will try to do is so here i need to assign it to this new observable this dot timer subscription is equal to new observable dot subscribe so now if i try to copy this one okay here what i can do this dot timer subscription dot unsubscribe so i can do the unsubscribe here so this is how we can do the unsubscribe so here we have did the unsubscribe so whenever we click on this button so we need to do the unsubscription so if i go here and if i refresh the page so the timer the timer has been started now when i click on this button it has to uns it has to stop the timer so if i click on cancel timer see the timer has stopped okay so this is the way we can stop the subscription so now if whenever you are subscribing to this observable so you need to if you want to unsubscribe means we need to do the unsubscribe so we need to do this unsubscribe so that the observable will be stopped okay and another one what we can do is so instead of have instead of having this interval method so we can what we can do is we can create our own observable right so we will try to what we can do is we will try to replicate this own observable so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to create our own observable what the interval is doing so we will try to do it as our own so that we can try to gen uh, so that we will we will see what what are, what are the problem we are having and we will try to overcome this one okay hope you understood about this unsubscription thing so whenever you are subscribing to an observable means so we can we need to do the unsubscribe if you don't want to get the data anymore okay and this all code is hosted in the github so if you want you can get the code so some people are asking me so about the source code and all those things so if you want to see this all the code so you are having in the github.com slash leela narsima and if you go to the repositories you'll be having all the repositories so i will be committing every time so rxjs basics so here you'll be able to see everything and for each video whatever the code i am telling for each video you will be having here 4 hyphen video 5 hyphen video 6 hyphen video like this so for every video i will be giving the uh, i will be giving you the code here so now we are we are doing eighth video right so you will be able to see this uh, code everything code what i have did up to now in this eighth video branch so you can go to that branch and you can see the code whatever i have did at that particular video okay hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.